Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this really easy and super quick watercolor and gouache painting of the Disney castle in front of a bright sunset. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And now let's get started. First, you need some heavier watercolor or mixed media paper. For example, I'm using the Hahnemühle Britannia watercolor paper. Apart from that, you'll need some watercolors. A basic set is absolutely sufficient here. Black and white gouache, a fine liner, a pencil for sketching and some washi tape. All the materials I use are in the description box. In the beginning, you need to sketch out the shape of the castle. You can either freehand it like I did or print out a picture of it and use as a stencil. If you type in Disney Castle Silhouette in Google or on Pinterest, there will be a lot of references. When the sketch is finished, trace the lines with a fine liner. You don't have to do this, but whenever I try to outline something with a paintbrush, the lines get wonky, so I stick with a fine liner and then color it in. Before coloring the castle itself, we will color the sky. In order to get a nice white margin, tape the edges of the painting with a washi tape. Afterwards, use a paintbrush to wet the paper. You only need to wet the sky, but you don't have to be super exact here. It doesn't matter if you paint over the lines of the castle. Now premix yellow, orange, pink, purple and blue watercolor. We are working wet on wet here, so all colors should be applied soon after another so that they are still wet and able to blend. Start in the bottom with yellow and then work your way up with orange, pink, purple and then blue. Blend the colors into another until you're satisfied with the gradient, but make sure to rinse your brush in between working in different areas of the painting. For example, you don't want to get blue in your yellow area and turn it green. When you're happy with the gradient, let the paint dry completely. We want the castle to be pitch black, so now we're changing the medium from watercolor to gouache. The main difference between these two is that watercolor is translucent, while gouache is opaque, so you don't need as much gouache compared to the amount of watercolor pigment to get a really dark black. Just mix some gouache with a drop of water to make it flow easier and paint the castle. We will also add some stars. In order to do so, mix wet gouache with water and use your finger or another paintbrush to splatter some stars across the sky. When the paint is completely dry, you can remove the washi tape. And this is the finished castle. If you recreate this painting, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you want to see more of my artworks, feel free to follow me on Instagram. Have a great day. Bye, guys.